Simplification. <laughs> in business, keeping things simple is critical. If you want to be highly efficient, you want your teams to run better, uh, you want everything just to run better. Um, if you want to be able to find things easier, uh, you want your processes, all your flows, you know, to work well, like a well-oiled machine. This week, uh, I made an executive decision, and uh, I'm going to dig into this a little bit and what that was, and it's particularly uh, related to uh, running projects. So in our agency, obviously, we have lots of clients, and we have other agency partners, and we're doing a lot of stuff. And as I've talked about in previous videos, we have to wrangle a lot of that stuff, right? It has to come in through different means. Either people are, you know, maybe a project manager is grabbing it. Maybe I'm grabbing it. Maybe an automation is bringing that into our system. There's all kinds of ways that, ways that happens. Well, and in the last six months, this has, this has been really a big focus of mine and uh, I guess our agency. Uh, in improving those processes and being able to handle uh, larger and larger volumes and um, take care, make sure everyone's taken care of. That's why I hired my project manager this year. She can help me with various accounts and making sure things are getting done and captured. And so that was that was a big step. But then I was like really, really digging deep and reviewing our processes, just uh, you know, to see if we can improve things because things were starting to slip a little bit. It was hard, you know, like as your agency or as your business grows, right? Uh, things change. What worked a year ago may not work today. And that has to be always something that you're kind of reviewing and looking at. If things, if you start seeing issues or you're not able to keep up with things like you used to, maybe that means you really have to sit down and review your processes and the tools you use. So, so I tried all kinds of things. I talked to my project, new project manager to get her help and just kind of rethink things. And you know, ultimately, it's tough, it's tough to make those decisions and to really figure it out when you're in the mix, uh, in, the, in the mix, <laughs> and you're in the midst of all of this, if I can talk. <laughs> when, you know, because... When you're when you got business coming in, you you have established clients and agency partners, and and you got all these tasks coming in basically on an hourly basis. There's stuff coming at us. Within there, you're trying to okay, let's try to improve our processes and do this stuff. So you got to block that time and really, you know, be thoughtful about making sure you block that time and uh, and figure out how you can improve that process on the fly. And it's difficult. And who's going to make that call? You know, for me, it's like, you know, the size of my agency. Yeah, we, I got a, a good team and, and everything, but really still a lot of that falls on my shoulders at this stage yet. Um, I don't have uh, a management team that can make those calls for me yet. <laughs> so... I'm wearing that those hats. I try to sometimes give those decisions out to my team members, but you know sometimes those are big decisions, and so sometimes uh, I will come in and say I made an executive decision today. <laughs> so I I really thought about so one of the big things uh, part of of what we're trying to improve is the tools we're using and the automations and capturing all that stuff, and I had. Now, we are basically, we use Google Workspace, and then we are Atlassian. We're really tied into the Atlassian products, Trello, Confluence, Bitbucket. That's us. Um, and then, of course, all the you know, Google Workspace stuff. And really, though, that's it. Besides some minor things like Dropbox, it's, you know, we're using that too and things. But there was another tool I was trying to incorporate, and that was Monday.com. Now, I really liked Monday.com and I really wanted it to work for us. I felt it could be a really a top level thing where all our automations come into there and then go out and do their thing. Like it just kind of a central place. It also worked, I thought it would work well in terms of being able to do the edge case things that maybe the other tools can't do um, or we just don't know what to do with it. So we put it in Monday. And that worked for a good part of this year. Um, 
And I, I touted it. I know I've talked about it on my videos or even on podcasts that it's a great tool and that's what we use. But uh, ultimately, though, as I really sat down and assessed how things were going, especially with the new you know project manager and uh, you know just how things are scaling up, was it adding more complexity than needed to be there? And I had I sat down this past weekend. I made the decision. And I just asked myself, everything we were using it for, could we do that? Could we replicate that and just use Trello or just use Confluence? Or, you know, does that work in Google somewhere? Um, could I? So I asked those questions and I was able to say, yeah, we can we could do this or we don't need to do it this way. And I actually found some better ways to do some things. We were using Monday.com also as like a CRM. I had been using like... In 2021, I was using Zenda Cell, so it was like a full CRM, and I thought that's too much. Let's again, Monday.com seemed perfect. It's going to be that kind of tool that does things, um, a, a number of things for us. But then, as I was looking at it, there's actually a better way to do that, just using Google Workspace, Gmail, Google Contacts, um, along with Confluence and stuff. But um, we're able to actually, there was better reasons to do it that way. So I, I sat down to that. And ultimately, I was able to say, you know what? We don't need Monday.com. Now, here's the thing. I made that decision. I did a video uh, for my VA and my project manager, people that are going to be, you know, this is going to affect the most on Monday. <laughs> and then I had a, I have a couple meetings with them on Monday morning. And when I brought it up, I got, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines, like a, a sigh of release, a, a, a sigh of relief. Like, I'm so glad you did that. And, you know, that doesn't always get communicated to me. Like, I'm trying to use something. I'm trying to do something and get my team to do something. And it's you know, it's hard, you know, for an employee to say, you know, I don't know, Matt, you know, to really tell me. I don't, I don't think we need it. Um, so all along, I think they were kind of hoping I would land on that decision and I would make the decision. <laughs> So there you have it. But I think ultimately, as I look at it and and under in listening to their feedback about it, I think it just was it just added a layer of complexity we didn't need. And I think now we're gonna fade fade out of that situation. We're already you know almost there uh, by the end of the year, and I think it's it has simplified things. Um, we're Trello uh, is becoming a bigger and bigger thing for us as well. So again, as we scale up and we're growing as an agency and getting more clients and projects, um, we're using Trello in different ways. Uh, we used to just have just a couple boards. We'd have just everything dropping into a couple boards. Now we have to, per project, start to create their own boards and because they're larger projects or uh, just to keep things organized. So as you scale up there, you use it in different ways or use their reporting in different ways. There's other features we never used in Trello and we started to use because we have to. Um, so, but ultimately the decision here, the executive decision, <laughs> which everyone in my team is celebrating, um, the decision was really about simplicity. And at the end of the day, do we need this extra tool? Can we do everything we can do with, with Atlassian, and Google Workspace, and the truth is, we can. Uh, we're doing more with Google Workspace. We're we're doing all kinds of things within those two ecosystems, um, and and yeah, we're still going to have these other little things like Dropbox and Zapier we use for automation. So we have these other little satellite things, but those are kind of that you're not going to replicate in there, and you need those things. Um, I mean, technically, we can use Google Drive. That's you know something I thought about. I asked that question also, but just Dropbox. There's there's good reasons to keep it, um, and uh, we still use Google Drive in certain circumstances. But uh, we just really love Dropbox. So anyway, but that's it. So if you're if you got a as your business scales, number one, like I said earlier. Uh, you have to review it once in a while. Just because you figure something out and everything's, you've figured out all your processes and how you're doing things, and it's great. We're done with that. Let's forget about it. You can't. A couple times a year, maybe at least once a year, or if, or if things 
visually, you know, you start seeing that things are slipping a little bit or, or things aren't working as well as they could. You got to ask yourself those hard questions. And sometimes you got to make those hard executive decisions and say, all right, that's not going to work for us. Um, let's simplify it, you know, and go from there. I hope, hope you found this interesting and you're wiser for listening in. Till next time, take care. <laughs>